Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! My friends, my family, my followers, it's Hike360 here, and we're here to give you a new hike this week. I'm at the Chicago Botanic Gardens today. We're here to do a 2.7 mile double loop. And we've been blessed with some spring showers. Uh, so we are figuring that out as we go. In mind for your next visit here. Also, what is open to the public without the need for reservation. So like I said, we're doing 2.7 miles today. Let's do it. Let's kill this hike. Well, one of the benefits of doing 360 video is we can see me in 360 degrees. We just saw a bird fight. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's immersive. Immersive VR right there. <laughs> Feel the fear. Feel the fear. Okay, tell them about the bird. All right, so we were just walking, you know, having a good time, and we're walking under the trees, and I see this one nice little bird. It's got like a bunch of like uh, plants or bark or something in its mouth, and it looked like it was building a nest. I go, hey, Dad, he's building a nest. And then all of a sudden, these two other birds just sort of swoop in, and, and the one bird drops everything, all the <laughs> straw that he just brought up, all the hay, and the, the two other birds like chase him out of the tree, and like, they're all like, Beacon each other. Hard. Well, oh. the trees above us. Sorry. <laughs> the water. This is really hard to do. I don't know what you said, but I don't think you liked it. Update. We have traveled from the visitor center at Chicago Botanic Gardens to Dundee Road. And we're deciding to make this a Chicago Botanic Gardens slash Skokie Lagoons hike. The 14 and a half miles, I've actually rode my bike for the entirety of it and back. And it's, it's a great path. You see a lot of, on the way and it brings you all the way to the city of Chicago. North is aircraft weapons there. Wow. To help protect. Plenty Naval Air Station. That's pretty wild. I didn't know that. that that's that. pretty wild, yeah. Now, you and I have had lunch on that bench there. Um, we've spent a lot of time talking about prescribed burns, which is technically a greater good. I mean, there's entire ecosystems that are burned away in terms of small birds. And we talked about like barbecued worms. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of ecosystem damage there for the greater good. I mean, I don't really know how to, my brain's not big enough to like choose a side. Well, if you know anything about culling herds or maintaining wildlife population, we would love to hear your thoughts uh, on the matter. Or anti-aircraft weapons around the Glenview Naval <laughs> Air Station. <laughs> you know anything about anti-aircraft. <laughs> place to eat lunch. Ooh. Our famous sandwiches. Dad's homemade bread, sunflower butter, and we've got the passion fruit pineapple jelly again today. So passion fruit pineapple jelly, that sounds too good to be true. It almost is too good to be true. It is the most tropical tasting sandwich I've ever had. It's really good. Definitely refreshing and that we often go to to watch the sunset or post up some you know collapsible chairs uh, enjoy some food and uh, look out over the water right here right right here dirt hill that I went to with other friends <laughs> and um, and we would take our bikes and go down this dirt hill as fast as we could. 
one time, shout out Albert, he went down super fast and there's like a little bit of a, like a, a curve, a jump at the bottom and uh, he didn't make it, he fell and just got covered in mud. Sorry. And you can take a look at their store and use our code uh, to get 10% off your purchase. We think. We think. But you we can hope. definitely go to the site and use the link over there. And if whatever's happening, you know, will happen. <laughs> but this is the backside. Uh, a lot of the, the labs and uh, offices we just passed. And then here are the greenhouses. I don't know, let's go up to the window. Staff only. Let's go up to the window. <laughs> you can see inside there's a lot of stuff in the making for this season. It's a guy running and oh have I been in his shoes before. You have. Kind of cards. You got this. This is one of the best parts of the Botanic Gardens. Uh, it's along the back side of it uh, where bikers and runners go through. I just know that humans have three color recepting right. protons. RGB. Uh, not protons. Rods uh, and cones. Yep. And dogs have two. Okay. And butterflies have five. Ooh. And the animal with the most is the mantis shrimp that has 27. So what it, the heck is he doing with all those? It, it's dimensionless. I mean, it's seeing in the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's seeing its own future. Yeah. Three would they get five. onto like infrared and I imagine, ultraviolet? I imagine they would. Um, so, like sonar? I don't know. Well, like, why not? <laughs> expert. Please comment below and tell us uh, an example of what that, of a way to conceptualize that because yeah. I can't. Is it uh, Rick and Morty where it's just dimensional or is there time travel involved as well? I imagine if you have 27 or 28 of them, it's got to be all that. So you got to, yeah. Oop, Would it be able to see if you're blushing or if you're lying or? You're happy, like the heart, like, your heartbeat, yeah, your, yeah, vibrations, and I mean the only special thing that I know that it does is it cracks. Uh, it, it has like like a battering ram attached to it that can crack like snail shells, and <laughs> yeah, uh, it really gets the taste buds going. <laughs> you, you are still talking about the shrimp. We've entered a garden. We don't, we're so on the shrimp that we don't know what garden this is. Um, if we're talking mantis shrimp. Still talking mantis shrimp. Okay. The eyes of the mantis shrimp are mounted, <laughs> mounted on mobile stalks and can move independently of each other. They are thought to have the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom and have the most complex visual system ever discovered. Compared with the three types of photoreceptor cells that humans possesses in their eyes, the, si the eyes of a mantis shrimp have between 12 and 16 types of photoreceptor cells. The ability to discriminate wavelengths less than 25 nanometers apart. And then it says each compound eye is made up of tens of thousands of amatidia cluster. Oh. Hey, if anybody knows what that word is. <laughs> Amatid amatidia? clusters of photoreceptor cells. Each eye consists of two flattened hemispheres separated by parallel rows of specialized amatidia. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Colle awesome. Collectively. And you want to be my latex salesman. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Collectively called the mid-band. The number of that word, rows, in the mid-ray range from two to six. This divides the eye into three regions. This configuration enables mantis shrimp to see objects with three parts of the same eye. In other words, each eye possesses trinocular vision and therefore depth perception. The upper and lower hemispheres are used primarily for recognition of form and motion, like the eyes of many other crustaceans. 
Mantis shrimp can perceive wavelengths of light ranging from deep ultraviolet to far red and polarized light. Yeah. Dude, this thing's a beast. You have a picture? To show the camera? Yeah, to show the camera. Picture for the picture. <laughs> All right, who knew that we would be talking about this today? The rain kind of does it to us. We've been casual this whole hike. It's Mantis been a very shrimp. casual hike. And uh, it is pretty neat to see everything kind of starting to bloom. We will come back in full season. And maybe that's why it's not so bad. It's a good use of a mask. <laughs> <laughs> we have Hike360 merch and you can support us by purchasing our Hike360 merch by either visiting our website or sending us an email at hike360vr at gmail.com. All right, this is a picture of the mantis shrimp. That thing is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at that. To the Chicago Botanic Gardens and do our hike. We extended that hike to the Skokie Lagoons, which uh, Dad and I have grown up uh, just enjoying our whole lives. So we hiked around that, we came back through the gardens, and now we are at our finishing point. It looks like we put up 8.1 miles. So pretty solid hike today. It was... Uh, <laughs> My watch isn't on that screen. <laughs> uh, all in all, beautiful day. Really happy. I feel good. And we'll catch you on the next hike. Peace.